What is a never say? Never say is a term that you should never say. I created this term after traveling across the country for 16 years, training employees on diversity and inclusivity issues. I found that we oftentimes are raised or grow up in a very monocultural world. We live in our homes, we go to church, we live in neighborhoods, we go to schools with people who are very much like we are. We're in our own silos. And then we are, go to college or we get a job and we are with people who are very different than who we are and what we've been around. And we oftentimes are ignorant about how to communicate with these people. So we do one of two things. We either stay away and only associate with people who are very similar to us, or oftentimes we try to integrate ourselves with people who are very different from us, and we say things that others find offensive, although we don't mean to offend. And we do this because we are not armed with the proper language of how to speak with others. We don't know what some find offensive. And that's because although people talk about inclusivity and diversity as ideals, no one has really given us the practical information on how to make those ideals come to fruition. When we go to other countries, we travel abroad, we're oftentimes giving, given information about how to communicate with people in that country so we don't offend. But here in the United States, although we are a very pluralistic society, a very diverse society, we do not learn how to communicate with people that are different from us. And that's what Never Says does. It provides a guide of things not to say. Because all of us are human, and essentially at the core, we're very much the same. But culturally, there are some things that we find offensive, and someone may not know that. So for the most part, we can talk to everybody the same, but there are some things that we should never ever say. And if we have this information, if we have some practical knowledge, we feel much more comfortable communicating with people that are different from us. We feel much more comfortable that we will not offend. It leads to having closer, more effective work groups and teams. So I created this guide so people would know things you don't say. It's embarrassing oftentimes to say, you know, I don't know. But the reality is, although I'm a diversity trainer and I have done it for the last 20 years, there are things that I don't know. There's cultures I'm unfamiliar with. Things are constantly changing and we can grow and learn together. And so what Never Says does, it talks about how we can ask each other questions, but it also gives us a guide of what we can't say. Um, I, I try to think of the example one time when I met a friend and we went out to lunch and she said to me, Randy, is it black or African American? I thought first of all it was great that she asked the question because oftentimes we're fearful to do so. But also I thought it gave very good insight into a lot of people who made, she really wanted to be my friend, her intentions were good, but she didn't quite have the vocabulary. And this is what Never Says does. It starts the conversation and it also provides some information about the right vocabulary to create and form bonds. So Never Says is a book that gives practical information. It doesn't just speak about theories. Never Says gives you the term that shouldn't be said, an example of when it's said and how it could be offensive. And it gives you alternative terms to use. So it's practical. It creates empathy and it gives you a knowledge base from which to work. Never says is based on the premise that most of us are really good people. Really great people who want to be able to work with others. We just need a little help in doing so. And Never Says provides that.